Hi, I'm Stacy, the Client Success Manager here at PaintScout, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily create and send an estimate to your customer in under five minutes. Let's start by pressing the new button located on the top right hand corner of your dashboard and select new estimate. From here, you'll be prompted to choose your estimate type. Let's create an interior estimate together. And then you can select to either create an empty quote, which is essentially a completely blank slate, or you can choose to work off of a previously crafted template. So I'm going to use this interior template today to save myself a few clicks in my workflow. Now we're presented with our new estimate and we're ready to edit. The first thing you're going to want to do is add in your customer's contact details. So to do this, press the add contact button. You can either search for your customer's information if they're already an existing contact in the system, or you can create a new contact and enter in all their details here. My customer is already loaded up in the system, so I'm just going to search his name, select him, and all of his contact details will populate. If you scroll down to the body of the estimate, you can see here that that template that we've worked off of has already pre-populated a few areas into the estimate already. So a general description of work and interior preparation line items, along with one fully built out bedroom with walls, ceilings, and baseboards. So our customer wants two bedrooms, so I can essentially come in here, click in on this pre-built area, go up to the edit button, and I'm going to rename this bedroom, bedroom one, and customize it with the measurements of my customer's room. When I'm done, I'm going to press confirm, and then you'll see here that all of those substrates have automatically recalculated based on the new measurements. So I can press done, and that first bedroom has already been estimated. To do the second bedroom, I'm going to press the three dots on the right hand side and press copy. This is going to replicate the substrates and the area measurements of that first bedroom. So I can come in here, go back up to edit, relabel this to bedroom two, and adjust with the new measurements of the other room. Press confirm, and you'll see here that all of those substrates have already recalculated based on those new measurements. So press done, and we've already had two full bedrooms completed. Now this customer is also wanting to have an office estimated, but he's not sure if he wants to have that included in the final price. So let's go ahead and make that as an option for him. To do that, I'm going to copy the second bedroom once again, and I'm going to rename it for his office. I'm gonna then adjust the measurements one more time and press confirm. Now for the office, he's not needing the baseboards to be painted, just the walls and the ceiling. So let's remove that substrate from the area. We can do so by going to the three dots on the right hand side, and we can either choose to archive this substrate, which we'll just put it into the archive section. Think of this as a soft delete option, or you can go full delete and just remove it completely. So I'm just going to delete this and press done. Now, once we have the office all set up with the correct pricing, we'll want to move it down to the options section. You can do this by pressing the checkbox next to the area and select make option from the toolbar that will populate along the bottom. You'll see here that the option has now populated down to its own section. This will still show on your customer's proposal when you present it to them so they're able to see the name, all the areas and details and the presented price, but it won't be included in the actual total. If they would like to go ahead and accept this option afterwards or move it to additional work, they can notify you and you can do that change for them. Now that the estimate is complete, we're ready to go ahead and send it off to Donald. To do this, we will press the send button in the right hand corner, and you'll see here that the customer's email address has automatically been populated. And we have a pre-crafted message here already typed out. You can also pre-craft your email messages in your profile under the email template section so that you don't have to type it out each time. Once we take a look at this and preview what the estimate looks like, we can go ahead and just press send. You'll see here on the left hand side that the estimate status has already updated to the sent option. So you can continue now to track your customer's interaction with your quote under the activity section. So as you can see, we've completed an estimate start to finish in under five minutes with some thoughtful planning to streamline your workflow. Try it out yourself. And if you need a hand, you can always reach out to our team at support at or through the chat button located in the platform.